Today I'm going to show you how to solve the Rubik's Magic. And I think that this is going to be the best tutorial on YouTube because there's only like five of them. And either you can't tell what they're saying or they're all blurry and you don't know what they're doing. But yeah, it comes with the stamp thing. Don't need that. Okay, so let's mix it up. Okay, the basic notation is front right here, backs in the back of course, right, right inverted, okay, left inverted, left, I don't use no left down here, in here, but whatever, down, okay, so, yeah, I'm just scrambling mine randomly. You probably got yours all scrambled. That's why you're watching, okay? Okay, I like to start with the red. Just because it's the biggest one. And I know where it goes easily. Okay, so if it's like this, you can just bring it up. Okay? But if it's like this, you can't just bring it up. So you can go twice and bring it around so so that you can bring it up. When you're solving for the first piece, it does not matter what you do because you won't mess nothing else up. <coughs> okay, and in my case, I have this that you can just move right up here, but you might not have that, so. Okay, see, so now I can still bring it right up. So just bring it down. See that? Just bring it down. And then over. And you can just fix your red. Okay. Is it too bright for you? Let's see what happens if I turn the light off. Okay, I guess that's a little better. Then, let's see, this is a good example here. I can't line this up. Okay, the blue's right there. And the other one's right there. They're on top of each other, you can't do that. So what I do is I bring it where it's supposed to go. Bring that piece down. Then move the blue back over. And if you still can't line it up, then just bring it over again, out of the way of that. Then just bring it over so it's underneath where it needs to go again. Then bring it back, and then if, if you keep doing that, it'll eventually go. So now you got, what is this, Russia and United States, or Asia or whatever, Europe. Okay, then you look around the top, see which ones you have solved ready. In my case, oh, why is there so many reflections? Okay, but anyway, in my case, I have these two solved. What is this? Africa and South America. Okay, and I just need to solve. However, this one is over here. I don't really care right now. Okay, so what I do is first I get the ice cap done. Okay, so to do that, go right up, right inverted, up, right, up twice. So you line these back up and bring it down. You notice you just mess that up. Doesn't matter because you're gonna do right, up, right inverted, up, right, up 180 again, and then you'll get two more, and then you keep doing that, up, or right, up, 
right inverted up right up 180 and back down eventually you'll get one done okay and when you got that one done you can tell because it lines up you're going to put hold it so you can turn it like this and you're going to put that on the lower left then you're going to do right up right inverted up right up twice and back down and if you still have one just keep doing that right up right inverted up right up twice and back down yes I know this is not the fastest way but it's the only way you can understand okay now once you got like this if you have none pieces that are in the correct spot I have two in this case you can either have none or two that's it or four but then it'll be done okay then you take the two that are solved if you have none it doesn't matter which way you hold it if you have the two that are solved you put them in the back okay then you do I don't know if you can see that okay then you go right inverted face right inverted back 180 right face inverted right inverted back 180 and then right twice and then see if you got them done and if you don't just keep doing that in this case mine's all done and that is how you solve the Rubik's world please rate comment and subscribe Thank you.